This is Overtime inside the Casino Rama Grill Room. We are here with Ward 19 Councillor Candidate Sean McCormick. It's so weird that coming out of my mouth because there's always yeah. sports in that Sean McCormick yeah, before. Yeah. How has that transition been yeah. from being a sports guy in the city to yeah. being a guy who's running for public office? Uh, it's been unbelievable, Gareth. I, I got to tell you, it's um, it's I expected it would be fun because it's a challenge. Um, it's the it's the most unbelievable challenge of my life. But I think at the end of the day, uh, broadcasting is about presenting, and uh, being a politician is about presenting. And uh, you need to focus on, on on messaging, and our our messaging is simple. And that uh, we're focused on uh, our platform is is about um, uh, the um, about less waste when it comes to taxpayer money. Uh, for too long in the city of Toronto, um, the uh, the taxpayer has been shouldering the burden of uh, of a city council that has not been willing to make the tough okay. decisions when it comes to tax dollars. You get the vehicle registration tax, the land transfer tax, property taxes keep going up, and. Uh, I'm of the opinion that it is it's that we can't go to taxpayers anymore. The next step is for city council to make some tough decisions and eliminate the wasteful spending. And when I say wasteful spending, I mean every contract that is signed by the city of Toronto should be a competitive bid from the smallest contract uh, that you know road construction, uh, you know uh, 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 TTC uh, construction, um, garbage uh, garbage removal. All of these contracts need to be tendered. Right now, there is too much uh, sole sourcing in the city of Toronto when it comes to contracts. And for every dollar that the city saves by, uh, by having a competitively bid contract, uh, that's a dollar that can be spent on social programs and infrastructure. It's very simple. And, uh, and people at the doors are being very, very receptive to that. Taxpayers have had enough. You live in Ward 19, so you kind of speak directly. You know, you represent. You are one of the people that these, you know, the, the spending directly affects. I live in the city as well, so we all know how expensive it is to live downtown Toronto Absolutely. so that resonates uh, getting back to the sports angle for a second mm -hmm. and you're going around the, your ward you're campaigning yeah. are people recognizing you say what the what's happening here you know what Gareth I'm going into this assuming that nobody knows who I am sure uh, and, and there's 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 a few reasons for that uh, one is you may or may not be a sports fan so you can eliminate a whole bunch of people <laughs> if you're a sports fan you may or may not watch Sportsnet so you can eliminate a whole bunch more and if you watch Sportsnet you may or may not watch connected so eliminate a whole bunch more and if you watch connected you may or may not have watched a show that I've done in the last uh, the last eight years so there's the I mean the demographic if it's an 18 to 34 male standing at the door right. chances are better but it's not just 18 to 34 males out there despite what we might believe in right. the sports world um, there's uh, there's there's a, there's a big senior population in Ward 19 um, there's there's uh, so many little groups there's a big Portuguese community Italian community uh, Liberty Village is uh, is a uh, it's filled with young professionals this massive population exploding and it's all of these little populations in within the, the 50,000 person population of the ward and uh, you need to I need to you need to understand that I'm getting an understanding it's a real cool area to yeah, live and, uh, and one of the things that you do in that area is you run the Queen West Music Fest yeah. which goes down this Saturday I know Maestro Fresh West hits the stage at 1:30. It's yeah. all for charity, Sean, and this is yeah. your baby. Yeah, it's the uh, St. Joseph's Health Center is uh, is the uh, the charity beneficiary this year. It's a free festival; doesn't cost a dime to attend. Uh, begins at one o'clock. Meister Fresh West hits the stage at 1:30. The Trues are headlining later in the day, and then the other five bands that are on the bill all local Queen West acts because we want to do two things with this festival. Uh, one, we want to help the charity and uh, two, we want to promote uh, Queen West music. The indie music scene, the indie rock scene in Queen West is unlike any other in this country. It's, it's where Canadian music is born when it comes to rock and roll. And, uh, and we're gonna have a great crowd. We've, uh, we've, we've, the first one was last year, it was good. Uh, but I would I would say we are going to a double or triple in size this year. We're expecting a big Head, crowd. I'll be in the beer tent, most Canadian providing the beverages for that <laughs> day. Head down to Queen West Music Fest this Saturday at Trinity Bellwoods Park and make sure you get out and vote, whether it's for this guy or not, uh, October 25th. That way, if your counselor, you know, the guy that you don't like, they don't get in, you can still complain. But we fully expect this guy to be representing Ward 19 come October 25th. Sean, all the best going forward. Thanks, we'll Garrett. see you next time.